the second part, man, I um I be reading a lot of like sad guru books and Om Swami, a lot of books from like Indian mystics. Um, cause man, they just tell you, you gotta be a decent human, right? Like you don't need you don't need all the structures and all the rules. It's like just be a decent human. If you do something and in your heart it feel it don't feel right, that means you're doing the wrong thing. <laughs> You know, and uh, man, I just use your practices and I got great people around me to where when I am moving kind of foul or in the, in the, in the wrong way, they, they address it. And I got people that correct me now and it's a beautiful thing to have. And I always got my pops looking from, from somewhere and he in my ear and uh, man, just community. Community is necessary. Some more, some more, some more. Let's get them in while we're here. Your birthday was yesterday? Okay, my birthday's today. So that's <laughs> that's what's up. That's what it is. That's why I vibe with your music so much. We Libra gang. Okay. Well, uh, mine is kind of a two-parter. If I wanted to get your feedback on you know musical projects that I'm doing, how can I do that? Um, do you have like a submission or something? If like if I uh, wanted to get your feedback on you know some projects or music that I'm doing, do you have like a like a Okay, the second part, you're stranded on an island, you get three albums. What are those three albums? The first one, there is a link in, in my bio on Instagram and on Twitter and wherever you find me, and there's a submission form. Um, that's one way to get something to me. That's a bit longer route. The fastest route to me is to do or make something that's so fire that I just have to see it. I have to come across it. Um, and that's been my strategy with all my music. I never try to intentionally grab anyone. I just make the stuff I love and I try to make great content and people respect that and want to see it. So that's the easiest way to get to me is do something that's so fire that T send it to me or one of them send it to me and it ends up in my lap, you know? Second, if I'm stranded on an island and I got to pick three albums, I'm going to go with Hustlenomics for when I gotta go hunt and I need to go get that. Hey, before we go, can we do some? Can we do? Can we do like a? I gotta get I, cause we in, we in the library. I gotta get a little huh? We gonna get back to the questions, but I, I feel like I couldn't. I can't leave without without getting a little. You know? Huh? Hold on. After this, can y'all stand up one second? Because we outside. Tens, twenties, fifties, hundreds. Nigga, let me count this money. Tens, twenties, fifties, hundreds. I'm in the mall. What time is it? Time to go get that. These niggas thinking I'm a rap star. And I'm a hustle with my. Ooh. I need stop. Show you. 
you what to do. Pick yourself up, that's that shit on your shoulders. Get yourself together, you the closer. Breathe, gain your composure. Why? Come on, when the shows, I really do that shit with ease. I'm so fucking blessed, I be greedy in my sneeze. Bitch, I'm from the V when Drake come on, we throw up tease. Oh, you want the Russell on your show, that cool? I think that's one of those things where demonstration speaks louder than conversation, right? That's one of those things that can only be taught through example. It's like if you got a kid in the house with you and you like, don't curse, but you curse all the time, right? They're gonna do what you're doing. And uh, I think with perseverance and hustle, it's the same way I learned how to hustle from my pops. I got to watch and I got to be in a passenger seat and I witnessed it. And that was the only way to get it into me, you feel me? So it's one of those things, demonstration speaks louder than conversation. You got one? How long did it take you to build up your career? Man, how old are you? Huh? And longer than that. Longer than that. You were, uh, man, longer than that. I'm 29. I just turned 20. Wow. You don't have to do all you don't have, you didn't have to do all you didn't have to do all that. You thought I was 21? I'm 29. But that's great. I'm, I, if you thought I was 21, we could go with that. We got some more questions? Yep. We're gonna bet. We're gonna send it around right after. What's up, brother? What's up, y'all? So my name is KB. I'm a DJ, promoter, and business owner, uh, born and raised here in Vallejo. Um, it's a trip. You know, this is my childhood library, too. So I remember just seeing your post the other day. I was just like, man, this is dope, you know, full circle moment. But uh, I recently, uh, like I said, I'm a promoter. I recently got into the show biz. I actually threw my first concert at Empress back in April. And I'm throwing another, sh uh, another show here in Vallejo in two weeks at Thou Wow Studio, which is a smaller underground hip-hop venue. I just want to know uh, any advice you have for anybody coming up in showbiz, any new promoters to the game, just what to expect. That is a good one. Man. Um, be a great person. Um, I think that is the, word of mouth is the greatest marketing and promotion that you could have. Like it's better than any ad you could run or any billboard you could put up. Someone just speaking good on your name and speaking well on something you did for them and how you impacted them is the greatest thing you could do. So just take care of artists. Don't treat them like they're at the entry level when there's only 30 people coming. Treat them like it's gonna be a thousand people out there and make them feel like a star. So when they come, they embrace you and they remember that. Need them, right. Man, the compound. The the overall vision, I'm building an, an artist wellness center. Somewhere you could go as an artist and just get all your needs met. You could get the spiritual side met and you can get all your music done and your visual content. But most importantly, you can have like community of people who've done it successfully that you can consult and talk to, you know, when you need it. And um, I'm not sure of a full timeline, but I mean, for 
the show within the next two, three years for certain. We're going we gonna to start doing some Perkula shows there too. So yeah, Compound's going to be open for business. Yeah. G Stack, hey. Well, I got two things real quick. The first thing, um, chiming off what she said, will you be opening up anything geared towards the Vallejo City Unified School District, allowing kids to come participate after school program, uh, uh, coloring program? I see you got chalk people, balloon making people. I see you got welding fabricators. I see uh, for a good company is a trade program coming. I mean, you have the visual, the audio, you got everything collabing. Do you find yourself working with little boys like 11, 12, 13, 14 year old kids? That's question one. Uh, number two, can you record this? It's his birthday and I'm G Stacks. I'm big on giving. I'm a giver and I partnered up with uh, OMG Raps. I uh, partnered up with OMG Raps and Bump Box and I got Millie's Blessings. I didn't just use your logo. I don't do that. So this one, I'm gonna give you the other gift tomorrow. But this is a Russell Bump Box. <laughs> and if you ever get on the road, have a mic difficulty, come with a microphone. And Carm Thanger put the fresh batteries in it outside. And it say made in Vallejo, California. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and thank you, Millie, for uh, allowing us to gift this to him. This is from OMG Raps, Bum Box, and G Stacks. Happy birthday, Millie. Yeah. Legendary. Legendary. To the first question, yeah. Um, man. I love the little homies. I love when I go to pick my daughter up from school and they be all excited and I think it's necessary for them to have programs where they can just shadow us and we're building out a computer lab at the compound as well so people can come in and get it and just kind of shadow. Like I said, I'm big on demonstration so just putting them in the places where they can see it being done and kind of follow and get that work. So yeah, we're going to be in the youth. Yeah. Get some grill building in there. Right? Man, right? We got any more questions? Come on. Last three, last three. Hold on, hand right hand. Then I got you. I'm coming to you. He said, hey, I just want to thank you for what you're doing for Will. First off. <laughs> I mean, we, we created, I ended up establishing a nonprofit because I was talking to my lawyer for law and I was telling him what we were doing with like proud of paying offer dates and he was like, you're not charging people? And I was like, well, technically, no, they're paying, you know, through donation, whatever they decide. And he was like, you need to have a nonprofit and this is why. And um, I think that's the benefit is just like we work very hard to pour into the community and make the money we make and then we just have to give it to someone with no real reason in it, you feel me? So it just enables us to do what we do and, and save a little paper after. Incredible. Oh, you had one. Last one? You want it? Last one? It's for you? You got it? Yeah. scrolling through my uh, playlist and I heard your song and I just played it over and over and over again because I'm like, he said his song is fire and then I hear his song and I just play it, play it, play it, play it over and over and over again and I just can't stop listening. I don't feel like listening to the other rappers ever since that song. Let's go! Yeah. Let's go! We gonna end on that note.
next 30, 45, I'll be over here at the book table. If y'all want a picture, want a book, want a signature, I'm here. Gratitude. Thank y'all for coming. Did y'all hear him? He don't want to listen to that other shit. Incredible. Thank you, guys.